Hey everybody, it's Ray Mir. And Paul. And today we're doing another unboxing. Paul, what is this? This is the Turboant V8, and it's the biggest electric scooter that Turboant makes. The biggest one? Let's yeah. pop it open. All right. All right, let's see, how many amps is that? I'm always curious now whenever we open something. Oh, in fact, you know what? I read there should be two of these in here. Oh, yeah. And they're oh, two amps each. That's a lot of charging power. Got some tools. We got the, um, got an Allen wrench and, uh, and the bolts that are going to hold the handlebars on. It's supposed to be a charging stand in here, too, which is kind of neat. All right. There's the charging stand. Ah, oh, there's the other charger right there. Oh, okay. Oh, and there's a lever down here. Oh, that's solid. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I saw this in pictures and I, and I was worried it might be like plastic or something, but it's like really solid metal, heavy metal uh, latch there. It feels really good. And this is the second charger. Oh, nice. you're right. So tell them about the superpower of this scooter or what yeah, makes it special. It is a really unusual um, superpower. They're known for having removable batteries. Most mm -hmm. Turbo Ant scooters do. But this one has a removable battery in the stem, but then it has another battery in the deck that's not removable. Nice. And uh, and so you've got, you know, you got two of them there. You can either charge it with like both batteries installed, like two chargers at a time, or you can, we'll show it in a minute, we'll pull this battery out and we can stick it in the base right and you can charge it in the base. And that way, like if you had a spare, you could just bring the, you know, the spare inside and charge it. Having two batteries, you should get more range with that. They claim about 50 miles, 50 miles. Uh, of range, but you know, we typically get like half of, yeah. uh, because we ride them pretty hard in our range test. And so that would put it, you know, I, in the you know, sort of mid twenties would be my guess for, for range on this one. So this is kind of cool looking. It's got, there's actually a, an electrical connection built in here. When you attach the handlebars, it just plugs in right there. This is a little cap that sort of protects these guys. And then this guy slides on like this. And the bolts go through there. That's kind of neat. So it's always a good idea before you tighten everything all the way down is to get all of the screws started. And so there are two more that are way in here. They're so I'm going to get these guys in there and then I'll tighten everything down. All right, do you want to turn it on? Yeah. Go for let's, it. Let's get this bad boy turned on. Nice little. This scooter comes with three modes. There we there go. go. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Got the headlight right there. Um, yeah, that's the three watt LED light. Yeah, and it's got lights down down here too. So it should have four ambient lights at the bottom. That's what I was reading. Two in the front, two in the back. It's nice. Feel the rubber. And this deck length is, I think, 19.7. I mean, we mm. haven't measured it, but that's what it said. Yeah, it feels nice though. It has a nice aluminum frame. It's, it feels solid. Paul, you know how much this thing weighs? It has some weight on it yeah, too. Yeah, this weighs, this spec is around, I want to say like 46, 48 pounds. And uh, which is, a, it's a few pounds heavier than a nine bot max. Oh, okay. We'll get Paul's official weight on there eventually. Go, go ahead and give it a bounce because I think it's got suspension in the back. I think it's still suspension. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you don't really see it, but it's uh, it kind of, it's got two hidden springs in the deck. And then it looks like it has it in the front because it's got this little baffle down here, but it doesn't. It's just uh, it's just in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's got the regen brakes up front, and it's got the, the mechanical disc out back. Do you know the top speed? I know the claim top speed. I don't know the Paul official ESG top speed, but they say they go 20 miles per hour, right? Yeah, and so the other turbo ants that we've tested, they, uh, they claim about 20. We've seen like 18.3, I think 18.6 on another. This one might actually go 20 because this one's rated at 450 watts, where the other ones are rated, at, I think, about 350. So I have high hopes for this one to, to really hit the 20 mile an hour mark, which would be nice. Yeah, this is cool. I mean, me being a big dog, turbo ant was one of my favorite light scooters to mm -hmm. ride because, you know, it kind of gives you that acceleration. And, and I did get those true top speeds. Mm -hmm. So like when you got the top 
top speed, I actually got the same top oh, speed. Right. So, and I think the max rider weight for this one is 275. It is, so. yeah. So 220 is like typically what you see like a 9 butt max and like kind of everything else of this size. Yeah. Uh, but turbo ants, they always have that higher rider weight limit, yeah. uh, which is really nice, 275 yeah. pounds. Oh, and I saw a note, you know, there, we saw this, there was a little tag hanging here on the handlebars and I love this about Turbo Ant, uh, they're one of the few uh, companies that like will actually tell you how they did the range test. And so they, um, they did it with a 165 pound rider, that's me, and um, they even give you the humidity. There was a 70% humidity and a gentle breeze that day. Um, and, but it's 9.3 miles an hour, so that's how you get those numbers where they talk about you know 50 miles. Um, and you know some people might ride that speed, but I love they're getting scientific about giving us the conditions that they test in, just like we do. Yeah, just like we do. Um, the tires, not 10 inch, but they're 9.3. 9.3, yeah. 9.3. Yeah, and air filled. Uh, they look, you know, when I first looked at this, I thought it had solid tires on it because it has mm -hmm. kind of that look about it, but they're, yeah, they're air filled. I think they've got tubes, not, not yeah, tubeless. Tubes. Yeah. yeah. Paul, what do you think you should get when you, when yeah. you get the scooter? Well, that was one of the cool things I checked out because I'm always curious when they have a, a removable battery, well, how much is it if somebody wants to buy a spare? Mm. And it's like $199 on their website, which mm. is really good. And while I was there, I noticed you can get like a spare motor for 90 bucks, a controller for 60. They've got just a ton of parts available, which I love to see, especially when it's, you know, a product is still fairly new, that they've already got the parts available in case anybody needs anything. So yeah, I that's, think that's crazy, though. Not, not crazy, but I think that's good that the industry is kind of, you know, I think traditionally, like having tires and, you know, changing parts was kind of hard to come by, but yeah. now it's kind of coming more standard. So that's actually pretty cool. Pretty yeah. neat to see. Can you demo folding for us? All right, let's see. Let's see, everybody. It's supposed to be quick folding. On the website, it's claimed it's like it takes four seconds. Oh, there yeah, you go. so this thing is yeah. super fast. Okay, I got it now. I don't know. That is four seconds once you kind of get it yeah. down. Yeah, try the, try the foot. I think that would be a cool right, thing. Let's see. Get in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, and then I like that it gives you a, like a real audible like yeah. solid, like you know it's latched yeah. when you put it all the way up. That's that's always a nice touch. All right, let's 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 get this battery off and, and see how it works. Yeah. In this. And this thing here, because I'm curious. I think this goes like that. Yeah, so we get the latch right here. So you pull the latch up and then slide this back. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that's kind of cool. So when you're pulling that up, it's actually unplugging the oh, top of the okay. battery right there. And then the bottom is just a shelf. And then this flips over and, and drops oh, in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it only goes one way, of course. And there you go. And then we oh, just, so we then plug, you that just in. plug this one in, and then you can actually yeah. plug that one. And, and the cool thing about this is because it's got two chargers and they're kind of high amperage mm -hmm. chargers, you know, typical is like, you know, 1.75 amps is like typical charger. These are two amps each. Um, it means you can charge the whole thing, you know, both batteries in four hours. Yeah, that's super fast. Yeah. And they say not to ride it without both batteries in it, but, you know, can you? Nope. Oh, and then it's got, they say it's got two battery meters. And I think that's what we're seeing here is, uh, I think each of these, you know, there's a, like an upper and a lower um, sort of upside down rainbow mm -hmm. here, is uh, I think each one of those is, one's the, the top battery and one's the bottom battery. Nice. And so, uh, and my guess is that it runs one down and then switches to the other one, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to swap them out. Oh, okay. Um, it has an IP rating. So, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, IP54. IP54, so. Yep, and that's up from IPX4 on the previous Turbo Ant X7 Pro and Turbo Ant X7 Max were both IPX4. Yeah, so that's nice. You can get it somewhat wet. I wouldn't fully dunk it or baptize it. Mm -hmm. But um, anything else before we get you on this outside? Uh, I don't know. We could look at the side stand. Yeah, let's look at Oh, yeah, let's flip that around. It's actually made out of uh, plastic, but it feels pretty beefy, so. I wouldn't stand on the scooter while it's on the side stand, but it feels like it's got you know, a nice amount of lean. The only problem oh, I have with right. the other ones is how it was front heavy. Like when you kind of go over a curb or when you stop and it, it, mm -hmm. it, you know, tilt forward a little bit. But with the battery in the deck, it's, it's, it feels more balanced than most mm -hmm. turbo ants. Oh, and I just noticed when you grabbed the brakes just now, so we noticed it had two, uh, three headlights. It had one, one up here and two down below. It's got three brake lights as well. Check these out. And then if we turn the, the lights on, yeah, three tail lights all, all around. 
All right, Paul, so we, we bust it open, you build it up, we broke it down, gave some specs. How much does this thing cost? It's $799. Mm. Uh, right now, I just checked today, I saw they have it on sale for $650, which is Ooh, not bad at that's all. That's nice. Yeah, it's a lot of range for $650. Bucks. Heck yeah. Who yeah. knows how long they'll have it on sale for that. It says that it's a New Year's sale, and we're, we're getting into the New Year yeah, here, so yeah, we'll see. Sure. Hop on it as soon as possible if, yep. if, if you're interested. Speaking of hopping on it, let's go take it for a ride. Yeah, let's go. All right. We're out. We'll see you outside. We got this thing outside. Paul, you go first. You All do right. the honors. All right. Ah, so there's something familiar. Is just like on the Nightbot Max, is if you throttle before you kick, it's not going to go. You have to kick and then hit the throttle. So there's a little bit of timing thing. Once you get used to it, it's fine. I got 20 miles an hour indicated, so who knows? We'll have to test with our per grade tools to find out for real, but it's 20 on the speedometer. All right, you want to go for a go? Okay, this is cool. Right, let's see how it does it with puddles. Okay, that's cool. That's nice. I'm just trying to feel the acceleration. If it like lags or if it takes me, let's see. Oh yeah, that's, that's going. Let me see if I can get up to 20. Lights, they're really bright. Oh uh, yeah, 18, 19. You got it to indicate 20 as well. Nice. So that's positive, you know. So most of the scooters don't even go on this that fast on the screen. So watching your ride, I can really see like the tail lights, especially the side ones, are like mm -hmm. super bright when you're down the street. Mm -hmm. And same thing coming back more than the top one. I could really, I really notice these uh, these lower ones are really just beaming down the road. Nice. So they look pretty cool. How the suspension feel? No, I felt nice. I don't know. It's not dual, right? No, it's just the back. Felt nice. I went over this little bump with the little water right there. It hit it nicely. Yeah. I didn't get no brain rattle, and there's. You know, I feel like the imbalance on this is pretty good, so mm -hmm. it's yeah. pretty stable. Yeah, Turboant runs lower tire pressure in their scooters. They run about 35 pounds, where sometimes other scooters run like 45 or 50. Mm -hmm. So you get a little bit smoother ride, but it probably costs them a little bit of range. Mm -hmm. Something else I noticed uh, uh, about the, the dash when I was riding it, actually two things. One is it's not the easiest to see. I wish it were a little brighter. Mm -hmm. uh, we're out here in the sunlight and it's, you know, it's readable, but you, you kind of really have to look at it. But the other thing is, is two things, is that you can see the um, the throttle mm -hmm. on the display. It shows oh, you yeah. how much how much throttle you're giving it. And so right now, you know, it's it's this is a kick to start scooter, so it's not going to take off if I do it. But you can see you get one bar, two bars, three bars, uh, actually four. And it shows you know how much throttle you're giving, and then on the other side, it shows how much brake you're applying. There's one, two, three, and then if I really yank it, I get all all four bars showing there uh, on the left-hand side. It tells me that there's a sensor in here that knows how hard I'm pulling and it's gonna give me a different amount of regen depending on how hard I pull the lever. So that's kind of cool. That's a newer thing we're starting to see on some of the scooters. All right, so what do you think, Ramir? Um, I enjoyed it. I think it's nice. I can't wait to get the full specs. The suspension felt good. The acceleration, it kind of took me a little bit and I, I'm glad that I seen 20 miles indicated mm -hmm. for my larger frame. So it's, you know, I'm not 275, but I'm glad that it stays true to what it says it does. So yeah. I'm, I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm, and I'm really excited to try out, you know, the biggest, most powerful turbo ant ever. And, you know, I love their removable battery scooters. And now we've got a removable battery, but we've got one and a half, almost, you know, two times the, the battery size of the, of the other scooters. So I'm excited to see just, you know, how far this will go. Yeah. All right. You guys seen it? The unboxing of the turbo ant V8. Till Check next time.